It's something that we hear a lot, but today I'm going to explain the mystery that is the power to weight ratio and why it's important to us cyclists. So, what is the power to weight ratio? Well, put very simply, it's a measurement, usually expressed in watts per kilo, of the power that you're able to generate versus the combined weight of your body and your bike. As I know from bitter personal experience, the heavier the rider, the harder it is to climb. This explains why many cyclists are on a constant quest for the lightest this, that or the other component for the bike and to lose a few kilos of body fat. The power you're able to generate on the bike is measured in watts. Unfortunately, there's no cheap and easy way to measure this yourself. Some cycling computers will give a rough estimate, but usually you need to invest in expensive pieces of kit such as SRM power cranks or do a professional test. Typically though, the average cyclist is able to generate between 150 and 250 watts of power. By contrast, body weight is a fairly easy, if not disappointing, thing to measure. So let's imagine we have a typical rider that can generate 250 watts of power and they weigh 80 kilos. You don't need to be a maths genius to work out that 250 divided by 80 equals 3.12 watts per kilo. Any cyclist will become faster if they can increase power and or reduce weight. The most obvious way of doing this is to reduce the weight side of the formula. So now let's imagine that the same rider has managed to shed 10 kilos. Their power to weight ratio has now increased to 3.57 watts per kilo. A difference of 0.45 of a watt may not sound a lot, but believe me, you would certainly feel it on the bike going up a hill. Equally, that same rider could have improved the ratio by increasing the power side of the formula through strength training. But what is the ideal power to weight ratio? According to some, if a rider is able to produce 7 watts per kilo, they should in theory be capable of becoming a top professional cyclist. So there we go. That's the power to weight ratio explained in a nutshell. Now you can dazzle and amaze your cycling chums with the science behind why they're puffing and cursing their way up a hill. They'll love you for it. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.